Hey everyone, this is Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for joining me. So, I'm bringing you guys your weekly messages for the Twin Flames. Um, so this is going to be from the week of February 5th to the 11th. We are in Valentine's Month. Woo. <laughs> um, Divine Feminine, you can, if you're still in separation, you probably vibe with me on that right now. Like, I'm so... All right. We got a lot to talk about. Um, uh, this, just so you know, this is a mess. This is a, a video for the Divine Feminine. Um, I just did the masculine video. It was almost an hour long. Um, there were some things that I wasn't expecting to go into with them, but it turns out it was coming out anyway. So I talked about it. But what I really want to talk to the Divine Feminine about right now is this latest full moon. Because, let me tell you, that shit fucked me up, <laughs> okay? Like, I'm still dealing with it. Now, I started dealing with it three days before the actual date of the full moon. Um, and I expect to be dealing with it for at least three days afterwards. I think we're already past that three-day mark, aren't we? It was on the 30... Wasn't it on the 31st? And today's the 4th. Lord have mercy. Anyway, um, that... The, the last full moon, it really brought up a lot of things that I thought I had been finished handling. Like, I thought I had gotten over it. I had released it, and I moved on, and I didn't have to worry about it anymore. You know, I processed it. It was done. But then the full moon came around and said, Nuh-uh, honey. Look, you still got to deal with this shit. And a lot of it has to do with a lot of triggering things that were going on with my twin. I started, I really became very aware of the fact that we were just cycling over and over and over in the same energy. And every time, you know, shit would happen, he would get triggered or I would get triggered and then we'd like separate, we'd, we'd be even pushed even further away from each other. And then I would come around and like change up the energy that I was feeling and be like, no, it's okay. I mean, I understand what he's going through and I'm gonna be a lighthouse for him. I'm gonna be a beacon of, of energy and just, you know, just like, uh, lead the way and blah 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 and then it would all just cycle back again and it got to a point for me where like once this once I really got deep into the um the energy of this current full, full moon there was a moment where I just broke down and I said I don't want to be treated this way anymore I mean it can't even, it can't get any more simple than that I refuse to let myself be treated this way any longer. And you could say, okay, well, um, technically I'm taking a victim stance in that. And it's like, no, not really. Because now I realize that I am actually the one that's been allowing this situation to happen. I have been the one that's been allowing myself to be continued, to continue to be treated this way. And so I'm finally, I, I finally got, had the wherewithal and the energy to say, no, I'm going to choose myself now. I love you. I care very, very deeply for you. We are very much connected. Um, I'm holding all kinds of unconditional love for you, but I can't hold all kinds of unconditional love for you if I don't hold that for myself. And in holding that for myself, I need to say that I, yes, I, I want to be in union with you as you are my twin, but at the same time, I don't want to be alone forever. And I know you're going through some really, really heavy shit. A lot of shit that's going to take a lot of time to work through. I personally have been there. All right? So I know how long it can take. But at the same time, I, in, in closing myself off from other potential partners that could actually love me the way I want to and I know I should be loved, I am hurting myself. I'm cutting myself out from love that I could experience while you're dealing with what you're dealing with. It is not necessary for me to cut myself off from love with someone else just for the sake of being with you when, number one, you're probably not even doing the things that you know you need to be doing. You, I, like, I literally feel you resisting at every chance you get. And number two, uh, this could take much longer that I anticipated, that you anticipated, than any of us anticipated. So why should I or anyone else feel like they have to close themselves off from someone that could actually really love them? I mean, 
that's where that's I mean that's my position right so that's where I stand right now and I'm telling this story because I know there are a lot of other divine feminines out there that are dealing with this right now I've been pulling um personal cards personal readings for myself lately just to understand the energies that are going on around me and the two of swords keeps coming up and I absolutely am embodying the two of swords situation right now because it's like well do I stay in this situation and keep holding myself romantically at least because the rest of my life I'm moving forward with period the only part of my life that I've been holding back has been the romantic side of my life um and which is like a double-edged sword because we've been going through this situation divine feminines lately where it's like we're we've been coming out of that situation of holding our putting our lives on hold for the sake of doing it when we get to union with our mass with our um our twin with our divine masculine but then in this last full moon, I realized that I was actually also putting my life on hold romantically. Why? Because the person that I'm thinking is my twin has been going out there, running around, playing the field. While I'm sitting here waiting, twiddling my thumbs, while other people are coming out to me, hitting on me and shit and X, Y, and Z, and I'm like, mm, no, sorry, I'm waiting for someone. But while he's out there, you know what I mean? While he's out there playing the field, it's like, well, shit, you obviously have a lot more work to do. Okay, cool. Well, you know what? Since that's the case, I get it now. So, all right, I'm going to move forward. When you're ready, you let me know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm telling this story. I'm we're already um, we're already almost seven minutes into this video. I'm telling this story because I know there are others out, out there in the Divine Feminine Collective that are feeling this way. And then I've been watching videos, some other readers. Um, if you, I would recommend um, that if you're vibing with this story, I would recommend that you check out uh, Evolving Spiritually. Her name is Kayla. I am vibing so hard with that woman right now. Like she put out some videos, man, recently, the Daily Guidance and the Twin Flame reading. Um, she just put out one that's, that's it's daily guidance. It's, I think it's like, so where do we go now or something like that? It's like two hours long. I mean, watch it, watch it because it was, it was, she was literally telling the story of my life in that moment. And this was during the full moon that I was watching this and I was like, oh my God, that's exactly what I'm going through right now. And the Two of Swords, I was saying, the Two of Swords energy is just has been coming up for the Divine Feminine a lot because a lot of us feel like we're in a rock, and, we're like between a rock and a hard place. And it's ironic because it came up for the Divine Masculine. Like if you watched that video already that I did for the Divine Masculine, you know that that came up for them too. And that came up in the position of how they're seeing the twin, which is so funny because that's how we're, a lot of the Divine Feminines are seeing the Divine Masculine. It's like, we don't want to walk away necessarily because we don't necessarily want to give up on the connection. We don't want to move forward and, and get involved with some someone else because that could potentially turn into like a marriage at some point down the road. And then and then what 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 happens to, to union? And at the same time, we don't want to stand here and still do this when we know our twin is actively fighting the situation 100% every chance he gets. Like if you're if you're really resonating with this part of the situation right now, that's most likely what's happening for you. And it's frustrating. It's really frustrating because we as a collective, a divine feminine collective, have been doing our fucking work. And I'm not trying to say that the divine masculine isn't. But for the most part, a lot of them are resisting like hell. And we're standing here in divine feminine, we're doing our work like what the fuck, bro? Like, come on. I right, cool. If that's what you want to do, I'm just going to keep going. Because at this point, we are so far apart. Like, uh, you know, like, not to sound, su not to like sound like superior or something, but a lot of us have moved so far forward that it's detrimental for us to stand back and wait for them to catch up at this point. And it's frustrating. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to get into the message because we're already 10 minutes in. But let's do this. All right, spirit, please make me, sorry, I need to calm down. Please make me a clear channel for the Divine Feminine Collective for this week, February 5th through the 11th. Please understand, guys, that this is a general reading, so I'm, I'm reading for a lot of people right now. Um, there's a lot of energies coming through. There are going to be a lot of scenarios coming through with these messages. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. 
also, please understand that these message, this message, whether regardless of whether I'm, uh, regardless of the fact that I'm, you know, asking for this week, uh, the messages for this week, they are not time sensitive. If at some point you find yourself drawn to this message, whether you've watched it already or it's new to you in this moment, and it's like a week or a month after this message was put out, there is a message in here that is res that is will resonate with you. Okay, it is not time sensitive. Energy is energy doesn't is not doesn't follow the laws of time or space. Really, they're re time and space are just illusions. You know, they're they're mental constructs put together by humanity to make sense of their surroundings. Period. That's all it is. Okay, so messages for the Divine Feminine for this week, week of February 5th to the 11th. Um, if you notice, if you're, if you're not new to the channel, you've noticed the change in scenery here. I'm sitting on my bed. I didn't want to do this on my desk. I wanted to change the scenery. All right, here we go. One more shuffle, then I'll cut the deck. And we'll get this started. Hoo wee! Intense energies, guys. Intense energies. All right. So, the overall message, the overall energy here, the underlying energy, is the Knight of Swords. And I think that's pretty fitting <laughs> for how a lot of the Divine Feminines feel right now. Um, yeah, that is quite fitting. Because some of us are just fed up. Fed up. We're so ready to just move forward. We want to, we've been wanting to move forward for so long. For so long. So there is kind of a risk of just wanting to go to war. Just wanting to just ride in and cut shit up. And that's not good. That's not good. It's only going to... Um, delay things more. It's only going to cause more damage, more pain, more triggering. Um, it's only going to push us further away from our twin. And so we don't want to do that. But understand that there is a restlessness here, especially for the divine feminine. Like the divine masculine, yeah, you're totally rest restless as well. I get it. But for the divine feminine, there is a different type of restlessness here. It's like either you're with me or you're not. Either you're going to get your shit together and do the damn thing, or I'm just gonna move on. Period. Because I'm, I, I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm tired. I'm tired of being treated like this. I'm tired of feeling like this. I'm tired of dealing like this. And God dang it, I'm going to find somebody that's gonna give me what I want. It don't have to be you, boo boo. I have free will, just like you do. Oh God, there. Wow. This. I'm sorry, y'all. This is really, <laughs> this is really coming out right now. Um, we did talk about, I did talk about free will in the Divine Masculine video. The Divine Masculine, everybody, everybody has free will. All right? So if you're in a situation where your counterpart, whether you're masculine or feminine, if you're in a situation where your counterpart is choosing to go in a completely different direction than what you both had decided you wanted to go on before you got here, that is their right. Okay, and whether you're the masculine or the feminine, whoever you are in the situation, and your your twin or your counterpart is choosing to go in a completely different situation, different direction, and you've been standing here doing all this work and growing, expanding, please understand that you will not be left high and dry. You will be matched with someone on your level. Okay, you will not have to start over. Okay, this is a message for both counterparts. You will not have to start over. There are some there are some divine masculines watching this video right now. There are some of you that are um, balancing out your your feminine and masculine energies within you, and you're you're resonating with this with some of this message in this video. I can feel it. Hi, welcome, welcome, um, and you're starting to get it. <laughs> you're starting to understand things, so that's a good thing. Um, you're starting. I, 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 I mean, you're starting to understand things from a feminine, energetic point of view, and that's actually a very good thing, because it's only going to um, expand your perspective. 
there are some divine masculines who are dealing with this situation that are like, you've been doing all this work and trying to do things. And now that you're integrating your, your divine, your, your feminine energies, you're starting to get into more of this stuff. So that's why you would be watching. And so you are, you're resonating with this because it's like your counterpart is just doing everything that they can to not move forward with you. Um, so please understand that if you find yourself in a situation, whether you're masculine or feminine, I know this video is mostly for the divine feminine, but if you are masculine or feminine and you're finding yourself in a situation where your twin is not doing what they need to do and you're moving way ahead of them, just go with it. Just go with it. Let them do what they're going to do. Let them learn the lessons. There could be a very good reason as to why they're staying back and you're moving forward. I mean, there could be still some things that they need to learn back in that position. They're not quite done yet, but that does not mean you need to stunt your growth. Keep going. If you want to be with a soulmate, a karmic partner, or so, if you want to be, if you want to have that kind of romantic situation while your twin is off doing their own work, you are entitled to it. You're entitled to it. You don't have to feel bad about that. All right? All right, let me, I'm sorry. This is gonna be a long video, guys. I'm so sorry. All right, so in your first position, we have your current surrounding energies. That's this. Second position, you have your current thoughts and feelings towards your twin. Third position, you've got your, where you are in relation to union. Um, fourth position is what you want your twin to know. Your fifth position is what's crowning you, what you, what your current challenges are, what's on your mind, what are you manifesting, stuff like that. And in your sixth position, you have hidden energies. So situations that um, may not be so apparent to you, things that you can't really see, things that are, are energies that are driving the situation, that kind of thing. All right, let's get to it. Your current surrounding energy is Divine Feminine. The Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles, okay? This last full moon, ha, uh, this, this last full moon was in Cancer. So that was um, highlighting your relationship sector, yeah? Um, the balance, the balance, excuse me, ooh, excuse me, the balancing act within your relationships. So speaking personally, I was made very, very, very aware I mean, it, it's not the first time I've been made aware of this, but this time it was really driven home for me. There is a serious imbalance between my relationship between me and my twin. I am constantly giving over and over and over and over just to be pushed away in the end. To be taken advantage of. To, uh, I mean, I, I mean, he, I mean, the, the narcissistic tendencies that are being exhibited by some of the those in the masculine collective are flabbergasting. It's like you would never even imagine that you would run into something like this in this type of journey. But it's happening, guys. It's happening. And in some situations, Divine Feminine, there are masculines out there that are so deeply ingrained in this devil energy that they are literally taking advantage of how much they know you want to give. Not just that you're willing to give, but that you want to give. And so your surrounding energies right now in the Six of Pentacles is becoming aware of that. And it's causing a lot of us to want to fight, which is why we have this overall energy of the Knight of Swords here. It's like, it's enraging us. It's, it's, it's inciting all kinds of anger and resentment and just like, I never even want to know. I, I mean, I got to a point where I didn't even want to know he existed, which was terrifying. This is my twin. This is someone that I'm completely, I mean, this is a part of myself. You know, I mean, and I, I and I even went through, a, I went through a moment where I was like, well, maybe he's not even my real twin. But there are so many mirroring aspects just to this situation alone. I'm not going to get into it just because it's already a long video and uh, it's a kind of a long story anyway. But there are things that I'm noticing that I used to do back in the day before I really got myself on this serious spiritual path, before I even knew about the twin flame journey. Like I'm literally seeing the mirror of the, the, the situation I had between myself and my higher self in the past and what's going on between me and my twin now. Like it's literally a mirror. But I'm also learning through this situation that even though I may love someone in, unconditionally and I know that they're uh, a, a part of me, there still needs a balance needs to be a balance between the give and the take. 
So this is our surrounding energies right now, ladies and gentlemen of the Feminine Collective. We are really being made starkly aware of where we're giving and not receiving. And we're being asked to choose. What do we want? Do we want to stay in a situation where the give and take is imbalanced? Or do we want to move forward and find a situation that is much more balanced for us? Regardless of whether that's with your twin or not. Because I know for a fact it was a serious test for me to say, to look at my twin and say, I am not going to allow you to treat me like this anymore. I know who you are to me. And I know you know who I am to you. But you know what? If you don't want to acknowledge that, if you don't want to give me the respect, at least I am a do, then I can't, I can't roll with you no more. I can't roll with you until you decide that you're going to, you're going to reciprocate. But don't you dare think I'm going to be alone just because I'm not with you. No, 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 no. There are a lot of divine masculines that are going to have to learn that lesson. They're going to have to learn it the hard way. It's coming, guys. Be ready. Woo! All right, moving on. Current thoughts and feelings towards your twin, Divine Feminine. You got the Four of Swords. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. The Four of Swords talks about arrest, talks about healing, talking about uh, healing, talks about taking some time out to rest and recuperate and reassess. Um, Uh, I'm getting, I'm channeling a specific message here because my attention is being drawn to these three swords here. So uh, a lot of the divine feminines, myself included, are dealing with um, energies of the three of swords, right? And so you're kind of just like laying back and taking stock and like observing this and like seeing, okay, here comes this three of swords again. What am I going to do about it now? But see, in this situation, this, this is not about heartbreak, because I know I'm not heartbroken. And I know a lot of you that are dealing with this right now, y'all ain't heartbroken either. Because we've been going through this so much for so long that it's like we don't even got the time to be heartbroken no more. We don't got the energy. We, we, don't, we ain't got it in us to be heartbroken anymore. Why the, why the hell should I be heartbroken? So check it. This is me laying here on that, on that, on that, whatever, on that bed right now. And you see me reaching for that fourth sword? I'm about to cut something out. Don't worry, though. You don't need to know what it is right now. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. I'm so, I'm, uh, look, look, I'm trying so hard to be objective here. Uh, and I, I did all right with the masculine video, but for the, the for the divine feminine video, man, this is a little more personal. And I know y'all are, there's a lot of you that are vibing with me right now. I ain't got time for no heartbreak no more. I have cried enough over you. So I'm gonna lay here for a moment and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna observe. I'm gonna plan my next move. And I'm not trying to threaten nobody. That's just that is just the energy I'm picking up right now. Right? Because these are your current thoughts and feelings towards your twin right here. And I'm I know I know my own I my, my own energy is in this too. I get it. Um, but I'm really f picking up this, like, there's a real cunning beneath, beneath this four of swords. And it's not, it's not out of malice. It's like a, a lot of you divine feminines have been pushed to the point where it's just like ruthless now, not by choice even. And it's not even, it's not even a spiteful thing. It's just like, you're just so done. You just want to be, you, you, you just don't want to have to deal with this anymore. That, I mean, that phrase that I came up with during that full moon, when I had that breaking point, I said, I, ref I don't want to feel like this anymore. I don't want to feel like this anymore. I love myself enough to know that this is not fair and I don't want to feel like this anymore. So I'm going to do what I need to do to not feel like this anymore. Hello. I'm looking you dead in the face and I'm saying, I'm going to do what I need to do to not feel like this anymore. And if that means cutting you out, I'm sorry, babe, but that's the way it's just going to go. Oh, let me tell you, man, this, this full moon was rough and I, 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 
I don't know if this is really going to be a lasting thing. Like, I don't know if once this full moon energy subsides, um, I personally am going to feel differently. I doubt it, though. I really doubt it because this has been such a strong eye opener, such a strong eye opener for me alone that I'm not sure once this subsides, I'm going to be back to the all mm, lovey dovey, like whatever, like, nah, this is, this is like a, a point of no return. Like everything is changing now. It's really like, this is really like a growing up moment. I feel like, all right, uh, I'm rambling, moving on. Position number three, where you are in relation to union, divine feminine. <sighs> where you are in relation to union. Yeah, the eight of swords makes perfect sense. We are very much up in our heads about it. And I think this is why I was just going on that whole sidebar of, um, I don't know how things are going to change right now uh, once these this full moon energy subsides. Um, because I also, in like all the emotions that are coming up right now that are really still pretty raw, and honestly, I didn't really want to do this message because I knew my emotions were still really raw and it was gonna be hard for me to remain objective, but I was still really being called to do it, so I'm doing it anyway. But this Eight of Swords energy is very much very, very real. Um, we don't know if we wanna move forward with it anymore. And we're all up in our heads about it because it's like, that feels like a betrayal of ourselves and our and our counterpart. But at the same time, we didn't reach this situation of not knowing whether we want to move forward or not alone. For the most part, the Divine Feminine has been doing everything she poss he or she possibly could have done. Doing all of the work we need to do to reach this goal. And some of our counterparts are just not with it. And it's frustrating. But at some point, you've got you to come to the point where it's like, okay, do you really value yourself? Do you really love yourself? And if you really love yourself, why are you going to let somebody treat you like this, regardless of who they are to you? If you, know they're not, if you know they're not treating you right, and you know that they're not treating you the way you want to be treated, then the only person to blame for that is you. I'm just going to be real with y'all. The only person to blame for that is you because you're allowing it to happen. So when this came around and I became very, very aware of how I didn't want to feel like this anymore, it was imperative for me to cut it out, to say, I am not doing this anymore. I'm going to go my own way. If you wake up and turn around and like want to start doing your work, that's great. You're still going to have to catch up though. And I will be here to support you, but I am not going to put my love life on hold because you decided to keep playing the field, period. I'm not gonna do it anymore. So that's where this Eight of Swords energy comes from. It's like you don't know which, what you wanna do about it, but you also, the key, the key to breaking out of that Eight of Swords is coming to terms with what you truly want. Whether you wanna to continue to allow someone to treat you in a way you know you want, don't wanna be treated or not. That is all up to you. And unfortunately, if that takes you away from union with your twin, so be it. Your happiness, your mental health, your emotional health, your spiritual health, your physical health is way more important. Is way more important. I mean, that falls in line with the whole message of needing to be whole before you can even reach union. Like, th this journey is not about reaching union with your twin. Yeah, it's a byproduct. It is um, the icing on the cake in situations, in certain, you know what I mean? But it's like, that is not that is not the true point. The true point is finding wholeness and completeness within yourself and serving your mission from that whole and complete situation. And from there, you facilitate union with your divine counterpart, yes. But first and foremost, your health and happiness is more important. You can break yourself out of this. And I know in many cases it means seeking um, soulmate relationships. And that's something that I've struggled with because it's like, well, no, why would I open myself to a soulmate relationship when I'm supposed to be with my twin? Yeah, I'm supposed to be with my twin, but am I supposed to be with them now? Maybe we, the part of our contract was like, yeah, we met, but not until like 10, 15 years later down the road that after we met each other that we'll be actually ready for it. You know what I mean? 
You have to connect with your higher self and pick out what the best option is for you. And get up out of your head about this because if it moves you away from union, then it's probably for the best, right? I'm gonna drink some water real quick. Mm. I'm sorry guys, this is, this is a really a long video. The <laughs> Divine Masculine video was almost an hour long, so I'm not surprised. All right, <sighs> moving forward. We've got what you want your twin to know, Divine Feminine. What do you want your twin to know? The moon. Interesting. The moon. What's the message here? What are you trying to tell your twin here? First of all, um, I'm already picking up, and it's, it's, it has to do with this Eight of Swords energy. There's a lot of illusion around us right now. Um... We're kind of, some of us are kind of going through the dark night of the soul, actually. Which is why we're stuck in this Eight of Swords energy in relation to union. A lot of the Divine Feminines in this moon cycle, this last full moon, has really drummed, drummed up some shadow stuff. The moon has, re this, this last full moon has really affected a lot of us. And it's really pushing us to deal with our codependent issues. And in some cases, Divine Masculine, you are being forewarned that is in dealing with those codependent issues, it's gonna take us away from you. It makes me sad to say that, um, but in some situations, yeah, it's gonna move us forward and we're gonna be way far ahead or off on a different path. Potentially still walking the twin flame journey, but just on a different avenue. Uh, I don't wanna place blame, but some of the messages, a lot of that has to do with your choices, Divine Masculine. A lot of you that have been really resisting things You've just been resisting. So at a certain point, we as your counterpart have to do what's best for us. Because haven't you been doing what's best for you? Or what you feel is best for you? So, now it's our turn. And this last moon, this last full moon has a lot to do with it. Because it just so happens that that moon was in Cancer and it was highlighting our relationships. It was highlighting the give and take in our relationships, right? That Six of Pentacles, that Six of Pentacles and the Two of Swords have been coming up a lot for my personal readings. I'm surprised the Two of Swords hasn't come up here. Maybe it still will, we'll see. And your fifth position is your current challenge, what your current focus is, what you're working on, what you're manifesting, what you're thinking about, stuff like that. We have the Fool, uh, yep. Makes perfect sense, especially coupled with the energy of this last full moon. On all the things that it highlighted, all the things that it brought to the surface, all the things that it forced us in some ways to deal with, this kind of dark night of the soul situation that some of us are going through, there is a brand new start on our minds. A lot of it, and a lot of it, and, and, and the, I think the reason why it's coming up as the fool here uh, in Major Arcana is because a lot of it has to do with um, deciding whether or not we want to be we want to wait for our twin or if we want to embark on a soulmate relationship. That's what we're thinking about. That's what we're manifesting. A lot of us are, are manifesting um, the, yeah, I'm channeling a message here. A lot of us are manifesting a brand new start. One that's going to be more aligned with what we actually want in a romantic relationship, what we actually want in a partner. Uh, aligned with how we want to be treated, how we want to be loved. Yep, I'm gonna leave it there. In the sixth position, we have our in hidden influences, and that is the Queen of Pentacles, and I think that's beautiful. That is so beautiful to see here, Divine Feminine. I mean, in all this stuff that we were talking about, in, you know, being whole within ourselves and realizing what it is we actually want and how we actually want to be treated, this is all being influenced because we have rooted our feminine energies. 
We are the queen of pentacles. And we're turning that compassion and that loving nature, that nurturing nature in towards ourselves now. And in some cases, it's generating this knight of swords energy because we're fucking pissed. <laughs> Please excuse the language, but come on. And we're not just angry at people outside of ourselves. We're kind of frustrated with ourselves, too. It's like, I thought I was done with this, but I'm still doing this to myself. But that's all right. It's okay. I'm going to bide my time. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to work with the moon cycle. I'm going to let it just purge. I'm just going to let it rock, wash away everything that's no longer necessary, no longer serving me, and I'm going to embark on a brand new journey. Period. End of story. I'm tired of feeling like this. There we go. <laughs> and I don't know if you heard it, but someone just honked their horn as soon as I said that. Confirmation. We're tired of feeling like this. I might even make that... I might even make that the title of this video. We are tired of feeling like this. All right. Okay, we're only 35 minutes in. I want to pull some messages from the Crystal Mandala deck, and then I also want to pull something from the Lightworker Oracle. I'm going to ask for one card. For the sake of brevity, we're going to do one card, please, Spirit, for the Divine Feminine for the week of February 5th through the 11th. Fifth through the eleventh. One more shuffle. Okay, actually, one more shuffle. <laughs> now it's one more shuffle. <coughs> Whoops. And obviously, you can tell I am shuffling because that card just flew. All right. Best message. One message for the Divine Feminine Collective. For January. Whoops, there it is. Integrity. Hell yeah! Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Integrity. Integ yo. Yo. Like, do I need to say anything else? I mean, y'all get it, right? What were we just talking about? I am tired of feeling like this. I refuse to feel like this any longer. You know why? You know why we refuse to feel like this any any longer, people? Because we are standing in our integrity. We are standing in our integrity. I mean, yo, you can't get any stronger a message than that right now for us, Divine Feminine. Like, I don't care who you are. I don't care. I dead don't care who you are to me who you think you are to me, who I think you are to me. If you're not going to treat me the way I know I deserve to be treated, if you're not going to treat me with respect and integrity, then you don't get a damn thing from me. Like, I'm really getting fired up about this, but like, yo, check it. Who do you think you are? You are no better than me. Hello, you are me. We are two parts of the same whole. But you know what? You know what? That's all right. That's all right. And yeah, there's some animosity in my voice right now. I'm human. I have emotions. And I'm not going to hide them. But at the same time, I'm not going to let you do this shit no more. But you know what? Let me read this real quick. 47. I mean, I hope y'all are vibing with this the way I am because, man. Shit. All right. Integrity. We bring you the empowerment of integrity. Integrity is the harmony between intention, word, and action. It is a discipline of love that creates inner security, confidence, and self-esteem. I mean, come on. You can't... Okay. <laughs> integrity allows you to choose what promises you make according to the reasons that have meaning for you. It empowers you to make decisions that feel authentic and honor your values. It allows you to say no without guilt or shame because you are not willing to compromise who you are to make another comfortable. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you honor your words and actions, doing what you say you will do, when you say you will do it, 
you grow power and respect within. You can express your integrity absolutely and yet with kindness and compassion. Integrity is the gift that will bring you a powerful peace of mind and loving self-respect. I'm going to say this right now. I am so sorry for not delivering this message with as much love and compassion in my voice as I could. Okay? As I could have. I'm just going to say it right now. I know I could have done better, but damn it, man, I am fired up about this. I'm so fired up. Because I know for a fact that I'm not the only one that feels like this right now. I'm not. I'm not the only one that's dealing with it. And that's just really helpful. <laughs> All right. So we get it, right? Integrity. We get it. Excellent. Let's move on to the Lightworker. Um, the message from the Lightworker deck. Whew, I need to relax a little. I need to. Whoa, hey. This is. Wow. This is intense. All right. Spirit, please provide us with. The best message for the Divine Feminine right now for this week, January 5th through the 11th. I'm going to ask for just one card, please. From the Divine, for the Divine Feminine, for the week of February 5th through the 11th. Um, side note, I might do another reading um, for the Masculine and Feminine, but moving through this uh, full moon energy, I might do that later. I might. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Final message for the Divine Feminine from the Lightworker Oracle deck. Please and thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Let's get this message here. Ooh, that's it. Star Child. Star Child. Okay. <sighs> Immediately, I'm pulled to the eight number, infinity, which is also a twin flame number. Abundance. Um, and what that's saying to me right now, I am going to read from the book just to make sure I don't miss anything from the message here. But what that's already saying to me is um, a lot of us divine feminines, we're going through a, a situation where we're being faced with the choice of whether to walk away and pursue a relationship with like a soulmate or something or to stay with the uh, stay uh, to stay with the twin and already this is saying to me if you choose a soulmate relationship just understand that you're not off your timeline like there there is an infinite amount of ways that you all can come together in your lifetime and find union together you know what I mean but um I feel like I want to pull another card but let's just I'm gonna read this for you the light of the stars exists in you the earth wants you to share that, that light with humanity you are asked to understand that you are meant to be here that you have spiritual work to accomplish give up the idea that you belong somewhere else to another home in the stars instead let the starlight of your inner being shine here on earth where it shall much uh, well, where it shall make such a positive difference in the world. Fall in love with Earth's beauty. She can and will support you in all ways. Ah, here's the message. Okay. The challenge for a star, a star seeded soul is to accept human beings as they are without despairing over their darker side. The violence may frighten you, but your love will help humanity learn to use that violence to dismantle old structures and create new ways of being. It can be channeled to energize humanity with a can do attitude towards creating a more loving and functional world. That is the message. So no, I'm not going to pull another card. That's exactly what we needed to hear right now. What's happening is um, we are being presented with an opportunity to teach the whole of, of humanity through working through this situation with our twins. So divine feminines that are facing the choice of walking away from your twin to pursue a relationship with someone else is facilitating this change within the greater consciousness of humanity. Why? Because it's going to affect your twin. And your twin is then going to make changes or adjustments accordingly. And then that's going to affect everyone else around them. Does that make sense? And also, the vibration you carry as you move forward in the choice that you've made is now going to affect everyone else around you. Especially those who are aware that you're on a twin flame journey and are aware that you are very serious about it. It is a very real thing. And you're not, you're not fucking around with it either. 
if you in the in this moment if you then turn around and say i am walking away from my twin and i am pursuing someone else i'm pursuing pursuing a relationship with a soulmate instead that's got that's kind of going to open their eyes a little bit it's like whoa whoa wait a second you're doing what but i thought this person was x y and z to you and well yeah of course they're x y and z to me but they were also doing a b c d e f and g and that shit won't fly with me so if that's the choice they're going to make, that is fine. I love them unconditionally. I will always be there for him, but I refuse to allow them to treat me like that. So I'm going to go somewhere else and I'm going to find someone that's going to treat me the way I want to be treated. Well, damn. <laughs> you know? You know what I mean? Like, that's what's happening right now. So that's what this star's child is saying to you. Use the power of your integrity to help teach humanity. And in some cases, I'm picking up on this right now, in some cases, this is absolutely part of the initial plan that you and your twin put together before you came here. It's part of the soul contract. This is part of how you all are teaching. This is how this is part of how we're teaching humanity. In many cases, this is why this is happening. This is why it has been happening this way. The uh, Divine Masculine is playing their role. If they're in the situation where they're, they're the one that's perceived as slacking off, I do that with air quotes, like, because you're not really in perspective. If this was part of the lesson, they're just playing their role that they agreed to play, right? But they're running around and, um, you know, running with these crews that are like keeping them in this position that they're in. And on, in consciously, they're like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, they're, they're, you know, they're, Con they're not they're not completely conscious of the of the greater thing that the greater situation that's happening here in that they're actually actively just playing this role so that they can turn around and teach people you see what happens you see what happens and on the divine feminine side we are not necessarily so aware of it up until this point when it was made aware uh, when it was pointed out to us but we weren't really aware of this either so we're cycling through our own drama you know what I mean? Until we get to the point where it's like, screw this, I'm done, and we decide to walk away of our own accord, of our own integrity. But now we're being told that, yes, you have made the right decision and you know what you, what's going on here, but please understand that there is, a greater, there is a greater picture happening. And you're being informed. Wow. That was powerful. I'm going to leave it there. 50 minutes. I mean, the Divine Masculine video was like 50 minutes long, so good. Okay. <laughs> um, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, instant go. I'm there. You can email me if you want a private reading. All of that information is in the description box below. If you'd like to make a donation to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, that's in the description box below. But most importantly, let's talk. Let's chat. Comment email me. Let's talk about this. You know, let's, we're, we're all part of the community. We're all dealing with similar energies. Let's, let's talk. Let's be there for each other. Yeah. I love you all. Thank you for watching. And I will speak with you soon. Bye. Wait, wait, how do I get, oh, <laughs> bye.